Kids Church and welcome to a brand new 21cc Kids Online. I hope that you guys have had the most amazing weeks and to go with those great weeks, we have got a great game. Now today's game is called Card Tower. What you're going to need to do is get yourself some cards. I've got these kind of cards but you can get top trumps, you can get any kind of cards that you may have. And what we're going to do is we're going to place one card in our mouth. And then the rest of the cards, we are going to try and make a tower on top of this card, like this. And we're going to see how many cards we can get before it falls. Are we ready? Let's go. Hmm. 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 I got seven. You know what? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna give it another go. Okay, let's try again. Hmm. 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 I got 11 that time. You know what? Let's give it one last try. And this time I'm gonna put two cards on the bottom. Okay. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Ah. Oh. Eleven was my best score. What was yours? Let us know in the comments down below. There's cards everywhere that I've got to pick up now. Ah. See you in a second. Well guys, the cards are all cleaned up. It took me a little while, it was quite a mess, but they're all gone. And it is now time for the offering. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, it talks about a widow's offering. And Jesus and a few of the disciples are all in a temple. And these men are coming in and giving lots of, lots of money. And this widow, she comes in and gives two small pence. She was very poor. Jesus tells the disciples that she gave much more than any other person. These people give lots of money and she gives two small coins. How could she have given more? Jesus is telling us that God cares a lot more about our heart and the thought that goes behind what we give rather than what we actually give. He wants us to be happy when we give. He wants us to give from a loving heart. And that's what we do when we give to Abdu. We give from a loving heart so that he can have all the amazing things that we do. Let's pray very quickly for Abdu. God, we thank you for Abdu. We thank you that you love him and that you care for him. Help us to give money to him out of the love in our hearts. We pray that the money we give would help him to grow to be a strong man who loves you and follows you. Help him to have food and water and school and clothes, a home and a bed and all the amazing things that we do. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let's move on to Bible time. Well guys, today we are finishing our series all about the disciples. And today's Bible time is all about the Holy Spirit. I know. And we're reading from the book of Acts. After Jesus had died on the cross, he came back to life. That is the Easter story. And he came back to life for 40 days. In those 40 days, he did lots of amazing things. And he saw lots of people. But after those 40 days, Jesus went back to heaven. 
The disciples were all gathered together, praying and wondering, what are they gonna do next? What will we do now? Jesus has gone back to heaven. And we pick up the story in Acts chapter two, verses one to four. So let's read Acts chapter two, verses one to four. It says this, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, the disciples. Suddenly, a noise came from heaven. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. The noise filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like flames of fire. The flames were separated and stood over each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak different languages. The Holy Spirit was giving them power to speak different languages. This must have been so crazy to experience. There's wind, there's fire, they speak in all different languages. How amazing would that have been? Let's see what it would have been like. Hmm. God, what are we gonna do next? How will we move forward? Where should we go? jobs and before they met Jesus they lived ordinary lives but with the help of the Holy Spirit they were the people that started the early church and Christianity as we know it today isn't that amazing good job disciples well done you know that voice in your head that sometimes tells you maybe you shouldn't be doing that when you're doing something wrong or Maybe you should go say hello to that lonely person. Or maybe you should share with your brother or your sister. Some Christians believe that that voice is the Holy Spirit helping us and guiding us through life. With the help of the Holy Spirit, these ordinary guys did something amazing. What do you think you could do with the help of the Holy Spirit? I think there is no counting, there is no stopping, there is no imagining what we could do if we listen to the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide us and help us through life. Jesus called the Holy Spirit a helper and it is so easy to get their help. It's as easy as saying a prayer. See, when we love Jesus and we follow him and we pray for him to come into our lives, the Holy Spirit comes into our hearts forever. Isn't that amazing? I love having the Holy Spirit in my life and I hope that you want the Holy Spirit in your life too. We can pray and ask for God's help and the Holy Spirit to guide us and it will. Isn't that amazing? Let's move on to our remember line. The Holy Spirit helps me and guides me through life. Let's add some actions. The Holy Spirit helps me and guides me through life. Let's try that again. The Holy Spirit helps me and guides me through life. Let's try that one last time. The Holy Spirit helps me and guides me through life. Awesome. Let's see what this week's craft is. Well guys, here is this week's craft to make your very own flame hat. Now I did some pipe cleaners and sell taped the fire 
to the back. But you can get any old hat and you can draw a flame or you can print one out and cut it out. And you can sell tape it onto any hat that you like so that you, just like the disciples, have got the Holy Spirit fire above your head. Doesn't this look cool? And it even moves around. Wowee. Well guys, it is time for this video to come to an end. I'm so sad that it's coming to an end. But I don't need to stay sad because we are gonna continue 21cc kids on Zoom. If you'd be like if you'd like to be involved in the Zoom hangout, please message us on Facebook, on Instagram, or uh, text, however you want to message us, please message us and we'll send you the details so that you can join our video chat where all your friends and favourite leaders are going to play some games and have some fun together. We would love to see you there. But for this video, that is the end. I'm going to pray very quickly. God, we thank you so much for the Holy Spirit. Thank you that it helps us and guides us through life. We know that without you, there is not much that we can do, but with you, even us as ordinary people can do amazing things. We want to do amazing things for you, God. Help us, we pray, in our day-to-day -day lives. We love you and we follow you forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to get on Zoom. We would love to see you. We're going to have so much fun. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye!